Tesla's uh, Homer is starting to get high, a little too hot. Farley Generator reports an explosion. They're coming down and off. Approaching limits. They'll try to hold on as long as they can. In Zagops, you're actually simulating the behavior of a real live power system. So their generators are out, and we can't supply them the power through that line, so we're going to have to supply them through the loader. So you can model a, a complete power system for the Northwest, uh, you can put different faults on it, and you can simulate what happens when things go wrong in that system. Loker to Moses number one. It's kind of almost a computer game. It's fairly fun to do. Uh, you get to kind of play with it and see how things react, and it's, it's nice to see all the, the theory that you've maybe learned in the classes, you know, show itself up in, in the class. You know, sometimes an engineering student will come out of school and they know the theory, and they know, you know, on paper how to design a power system. But it's not until they really get into something like Zagops, where they can work with people who are then having to manipulate that system to keep our power on, that they really see how to do it the right way. And then proper. The very first thing I did was a blackout situation. Everything was off, everything was dark, and we had to bring a couple generators online, connect those generators, and slowly get power to the entire system. They get a very big overview of a complete power system. How do you model a power system? How do you make it work? Who controls it? It allows them to realize if this was real life, the whole the whole thing that's just happened is you've just brought down the northwest part of the United States. Do you really want to be responsible for that? Um, it's not just something on paper then. They're looking at a power system that's crashing and you have people yelling and people out of power. And, and it's really exciting for them to be able to translate that theory and the learning they get into a real world situation. 450 is going from Palco to external. So it's really, we're tying all three components together, the theory, the hands-on feel, and then a real live application. This is probably one of the few schools where you can actually get all three components put together. So it's rather unusual in that respect.